All right, so it's the next day, but we're kind of gonna combine the videos into each other. Um, so it's gonna be like proportioned or whatever, where today we're working on Zaxi 36, but yesterday we kind of painted the wheels like pink, and I'm gonna show you that in a second. And I'm probably gonna throw those clips into there. And then today we got a road mic. Huge shout out to Perry for letting me use that. Until I pick up mine, we're gonna be doing a video with him this weekend. But uh, yeah, so some of the clips might have very bad sound quality because we didn't have an external mic. But now that we have an external mic, today's video should be a lot more smoother and everything should be more steady and we're getting better at using the camera because we're still not used to it. It's on autofocus right now, so hopefully it's doing good. I just caught myself looking into the screen, not the lens. So Zach's on the car right now. We're gonna get to that and then I'll show you the wheels. Here, I can continue the video. I gotta drop these three, right? What? There should be four the bulbs. Oh shit, yeah, that's right, the E36 is like, oh yeah, you got a lot more to do. Yeah, you gotta undo those three bolts and then the four main bolts under there. Yeah, he's gotta, he's gotta drop his subframe. These were loose. I mean, we might have never tightened them. So yeah, he's gonna get the subframe out. Let me see if I can show you the wheel over here. As you can see, we painted that one black with the sparkles. Turned out pretty good. Let me see if I can really show you guys. Yeah, you can see it turned out pretty good. So we got that one. We're probably gonna run these for burners. And then we also got the pink one right here. Turned out pretty good. We gotta paint the other white ones that are underneath, but we're gonna burn the tires off this weekend. Oh, that's definitely going down. And then like I said, I'm gonna go get my Mac later today. But uh, right now we're just pulling out the subframe. Turn the screen on. Dude, the quality is fucking awesome. You might have to kick it. So yeah, he wants to clean up the subframe after I tried to get him to do it last time when it was out. Takes a look over here at mine and decides, you know, gotta step the game up a little bit. Yeah. Give you a little overview of the Kuki with the new camera. Um, since I just spent all this money on the camera and I'm about to go spend a bunch more on a Mac today, I couldn't get what I wanted to get this month, but uh, at the end of this month or next month sometime, we're going to be picking up the lower control arms, knuckles, tie rods, the whole front end will be back together. It was a surprise, but now I might as well just tell you guys that that's going to be next, the whole front end along with the rear control arms. And also, we got to fill in this hole and stuff, which I'm going to probably do later this week. So rocks aren't flying in there on me and stuff. But yeah, that's what's next for the car. We gotta get the whole front end dialed in, get it back on the ground, and then I can buy the engine and then we can go from there. Straddle it, boy. <laughs> All right, so the diff's out. Dirty as fuck. Oh my gosh. He's gonna attempt to clean this thing, we'll see. I don't know how clean it's really gonna get. Got the rest of it, we just gotta pull apart the control arms. Basically, you got your E36 lower control arms right here, undo it from there, and then your toe arms or whatever, all this shit. And then just, it'll be just the subframe. We'll just tape off the bushings themselves because they're white and pretty. And clean it down with a wire brush or wire wheel, sand it a little bit, scruff it up, give it a primer. Play a coat of black and then uh, sparkles. And it'll look. And then the diff is going to be the same color as you did your diff. Just flat black? Yeah. Yeah. It's like a team thing, you know what I'm saying? Dude, our cars are going to look exactly the same. Well, yeah. Let me, let me show you guys real quick with the, the camera quality. There we go. Look at that. That's the, the details right there. Alright, so now you just gotta get the control arms off and the subframe will be completely separate. Dude, I'm hating this autofocus right now, like it's junk. Alright. Yeah, the autofocus isn't like work, it's like works great for like on your face, maybe it's because... No. No. So yeah, the autofocus, like I'm sorry if it's going like back and forth, we're, we're getting used to the camera, like 
we have no clue how to properly use this thing. So I'm going back and forth between manually focusing and auto focusing. Can't make up my mind. But he's going to get the subframe out. We're going to pull it outside and we're going to prep it and uh, hopefully paint it. And it's going to turn out dope. Till I get up Time is barely on our side I don't want to waste what's left The storms we chase are leading us And love is all we'll ever trust Yeah, No, I don't want to waste what's left And on and on we'll go Through the wastelands, through the highways Till my shadow Turns the sun rays And on and on We'll go Through the wastelands Through the highways And on and on We'll go So we pretty much finished up with everything today. Zach had to leave early because he had to go to work and I had to go by the Mac as you guys saw on Snapchat. But I'm gonna show you the diff real quick. We couldn't get it as perfect as the Kuki's subframe and diff because the Kuki's subframe and diff was like a lot better conditioned metal. It wasn't all rusted and stuff. But let me just show you real quick. Do, do, do. All right, so like the diff actually turned out pretty good. But the subframe, I couldn't find the sparkles in the garage. We're going to have to go buy some. But as you can see, like some of the spots on the subframe where the welds are, they're just pretty rusty. So we couldn't get it that perfect. But like I said before, this is the rear subframe. It doesn't really matter. Garage Tastic is sending us out a front reinforced subframe for Zach's car. So as soon as we get that back in the mail, it'll be powder coated. So that'll look nice and pretty. All right, so that's gonna be the end of today's video. Like I said, I have not edited at all, edited, edited, whatever, at all on the MacBook yet. Like I haven't even started. This is the end of the video. I'm gonna go inside right now and try and edit. I don't know how it's gonna go. I'm probably gonna do another video after I finish editing the video to let you guys know, you know, what I did wrong and some mistakes I made and how I like it. So let's go inside. Let's see if I can edit and uh, hopefully it turns out pretty good. All right, so we're gonna end the video right here in my room just finished the complete edit on the mac back there honestly super fucking stoked i think it turned out great i know you know i'm not a professional so some shots were shaky all that you know guys i'm not a professional all right leave me alone in the comments but if it turned out good you know i do appreciate the the good comments and don't forget to give this video a huge thumbs up and i just want to let you guys know that uh we're we hit 70,000 like subscribers and uh that's pretty fucking insane yeah it still blows my mind every time i see that number like 70k like fucking seven zero like i remember hitting 200 subscribers and i was so fucking stoked and now it's like 70k and now every day i wake up and i'm driving to work like i get so fucking hyped in my car i just want to let you guys know that if you're looking into starting a youtube channel I have nothing to say besides hit the sign up button, go fucking do it because your dreams might just fucking happen. 